Hello, Havocs. Aren't we having a beachy day today? My name is Crystal, and I'm here to welcome all you Havocs to talk about the loptastic game of Grand King University men's basketball. And you guessed it, it was a beach theme. Now, true confessions. My shirt, I got it for this occasion. Okay, it says sun, surf, and sand, but in the camera, it just says sun. And it kind of has a little palm tree thing going on. So, um, should have got something more color. I'm sorry. I thought it was a good idea. But, anyway, um, I can do this a lot better because I can see you better without my sunglasses on. So, uh, enough about me and my fashion choices. Um, I'm going to talk about yesterday's game. And it was uh, Grand King University versus North um, Northern Arizona University, or NAU. Interesting thing about NAU is that it ha NAU uh, team has a GCU alum on there. His name is Liam Lloyd, and he played his first two years of college basketball for us. Um, and then he transferred to uh, NAU. So kind of miss him, but he's doing great there. Scored 16 points for NAU, which was awesome for them in that respect. Um, I'm going to claim that as GCU Purple Blood that's still in him, but that's just me. So but that is an interesting little factoid about NAU. Um, and then when we started the game, I got kind of nervous because it was, they, they, they were doing good. NAU was just kicking our butts. Um, I mean, I just blinked. And if it wasn't for that one free throw from Tyon, Grass, Tyon Grant Foster, um, we would be down 10 points. But it was, a, it, was, it was 10 to 1 in NAU's favor. Did not like that at all. And when it gets like that, I get nervous and I start thinking about, Things like, so should I start muting the sound so that I'm not stressed? Um, should I watch cat videos? Should I go and start cleaning up my, you know, do some house cleaning right now and come back later? Because I can't watch them lose. That's just, I, I'm squeamish that way. I'm sorry. Um, but I hung tough. And hindsight being 2020, I'm super glad I did because it's like we woke up like, oh, we're at home. It's beach night. It was also the 200th game played at the GCU arena. So we had a lot to play for. And so we, we, we kept going and, you know, we started and it, unlike last week, last, um, the one against SEMO, where we, you know, it was basically, it was Tyon Grant Foster with 30 points, which was awesome. He didn't do that this time. Um, but this time, it was so much more of a team thing. Uh, we had double digit point getters from mul from four different players. Um, gather my notes real quick here. Uh, we had, well, I gotta grab my glasses too, because I can't read without them. It's called being old. Um, yes. Um, uh, Ty and Grant Foster had 11, um, Ray Harrison had 12, and then, um, some new people that I hadn't fully talked about a whole lot was Sidney Curry. Now that is a beast of a man. I mean, he is just, every basketball on the face of the earth ought to be afraid of Sidney Curry because he just wants to slam things down. Not only do basketballs need to fear him, but Bas baskets need to fear him because he slams so hard. He almost wants to take the basket um, with him. I mean, it's, it's a ferociousness that I think is awesome. I think it's fantastic. And I'm so glad that he plays for us because I, 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 I need a ferocious, loptastic uh, player like that on our team. He was awesome. But he got 17 points. Okay. And then another one, his name is... Uh, Colin Moore, but his nickname is Simo. Okay, 
And Simo, okay, not only did he get 12 points, but the, 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 most, the most dramatic of those 12 was the three he got. Um, and it was 3.8 seconds from the um, end of the first half. You know, and he is at half court and he just chucks it up and it goes through. It was amazing. It was mind blowing. It was lope tastic. I mean, just amazing. Just absolutely amazing. So, okay. NAU had 29 points and GCU had 41 points. So we had a 12 point lead going into the uh, second half, which was awesome. Okay. And then they came out uh, again and we just dominated. It was amazing. It was a clinic on how a basketball team should operate. I mean, there were steals, there were uh, blocks, there, there were dunks, there were, you know, threes. We made 21 free throws. Our team did. I can't recall the last time we got to do that because generally free throws are not our strong point. But we, there was something for everybody to get, you know, and it was wonderful, just wonderful seeing all of this. Um, and, you know, and then also we had a little teaser. I mentioned before about last year's preseason WAC conference champion, um, uh, and J Javon, Blackshear Jr., a.k.a. Nuna. I told you in my last video about the men's basketball team that he was coming back soon. And it's still soon. We don't know. If, I don't know for sure when that's going to be. But we got to watch him just him and the basketball shooting hoops, um, going side to side, working that knee because he had a, a ACL tear last January. And that's still being, you know, recovered and rehabbed and things of that nature so you know it would it was nice seeing it it was a little tease but it was nice seeing it um but yeah that was awesome just seeing that and so but the game itself it was it was a clinic watching all of these guys work and learning more uh, nicknames shout out to barry butel for um the curry crush you know because sydney curry likes to crush that ball down there, the curry crush. Shout out to Scott Williams on um, referring to Sugar Ray Harrison. Love that name. And Isaiah Shaw did his threes. He loves those threes. And I didn't hear it this time, but I did get a correction from Paul Denuser that he did, he, Paul Denuser did not say he came, he saw, he conquered. Paul Denuser said regarding to Isaiah Shaw, he came, he saw. He conquered. So I wanted to make that correction and things of that nature. So that was excellent in that respect. Um, and so the game, when it all finished out, it was amazing. It was amazing. Okay. Like I said, I'm trying something new here. Hopefully this works. If not, I'll just reshoot this whole thing. Um, NAU, when it was all said and done, had a total of 55 points for the game. GCU had a total of 89 points. We beat them by 34 points. It was awesome. It was so awesome. We beat them. We, we beat two Division I teams by over 30 points. No, sorry, by over 20 points. Back to back. I can't recall the last time we've done something like that. I honestly can't. Um, and I'm looking forward to when we could do that, you know, if we could do that again. Now, our next game, this one makes me nervous, okay? But our next game is going to be against two things. It's going to be a neutral site game. And it's going to be against San Francisco. It's going to be on Friday, 
uh, November 17th, okay? And I'm a bit nervous about it because they're a tough team. We're 2-0 all overall. They're 2-0 overall. Uh, we're 1-0 in this Arizona uh, playoff thing because that's what we did with NAU with an Arizona playoff. Um, so, And that's going to be part two of the Arizona playoff when we play San Francisco. We'll play San Francisco on Friday, and then on Sunday we either play South Carolina or DePaul. Um, that has to be determined. Uh, that's yet to be determined. But the last time we played Chicago, excuse me, Chicago, excuse me, San Francisco, um, we beat them by one point, 49 to 48. It was tough. It was tough. I'm glad we got the W, but that was tough. And so, you know, they're going to come ready to, you know, they, 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 they're going to, they're coming ready to fight. We're coming ready to fight. Um, it's going to be at the Diamond, uh, Desert Diamond Center in Glendale, Arizona. Um, and I mentioned that because although it's a neutral site game, it's only that because it's not inside our arena. It's, you know, a lot of our, you know, the Havocs are going to be in, in the, that audience. Our, our cheerleaders are going to be there, I believe. The band's going to be there, uh, dancing. Thunder, our mascot's going to be there. So it's all going to be the same, or very similar, at least, um, to a home game. Uh, because you know San Francisco's not bringing their, their, their student body with them. Or at least it's highly unlikely. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Um, so that's still going to be fun. But because it is a neutral site game, we're going to have what I will call neutral site commentators on the CBS network. That's where it's going to be broadcast as opposed to ESPN+. Um, and what I like to do whenever it's a road game, and it's not our broadcasters, uh, um, but I want to hear my people's take on the game. I don't want a neutral site. I like to hear mine. I'll tell you what I do. I will watch them on mute, okay? And I list, and I will have on, um, you can download the app for free, 1580 The Fanatic. And 15 minutes before the game, I actually will tune into that uh, app and I'll listen to the pregame show with the Lopes Insider Paul Coro and the voice of the Lopes, Michael Potter. They're excellent broadcasters. They, they, they will take you through the game beautifully. And that's, that's, that's like the best way to do it. Listen to the pregame, you'll get a nice little interview uh, with Coach Drew. And then afterwards, there'll be an interview with Coach Drew and assuming we win, we'll have another interview with one of the players. And you'll catch that whole vibe much better that way as opposed to just listening to the neutral site commentators. That's my recommendation. So at any rate, that is going to be Friday, um, November 17th for that game. And I am excited for it. I am excited for it. And I will come back on um, probably Saturday to do a recap because the next game's on Sunday, so I better be quick and go from it from there. So thank you so much for listening to this recap. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, share the, the, this, this video to all your friends, everybody you think is awesome. Let them watch this too so they can know how awesome they are because you shared this with them and things of that nature. And I will see you next time. Lopes up.